This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we're checking out more of Maltigo's interface, specifically how you add your own entities. Because who doesn't want to add their own entities? I know I do. It's fun. Now, say you want to create a brand new entity on a working chart without the use of the palette. To do so, you would go back to the Manage tab. Now, we talked about this in a previous Hack Tip episode. If you haven't seen it, go back and look for the one about the Manage tab. I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a new entity type. So, for this one specifically, I'm going to call it, hmm, how about um, the emails? The emails, I can add a description if I want to. So, for my description, I'll call it um, my special email entity. And I'm going to just leave the unique type the same. Now, under base entity, this is pretty useful because it'll automatically include whatever script from Maltigo that I want to use. Uh, let's find one that regards email. Oh, there we go. Down under icons, I can include a brand new icon, so I can choose any of these custom ones, defaults, new. Uh, let's say, I like this star, so I'm gonna choose the star. Yay. Hit next. Now this is kind of an interesting page. This is going to let you either use the main properties of the inherited entity type, so that basically means all the information from the previous page, or you can create a custom ma main property. So I'm just gonna use all the main properties that I already created hit next, and then I can add my category. So for this, I'm gonna call it personal, and then hit finish. Now once you do that, you'll find it over in your listing. So if I go under personal, move down a little bit, the emails, that's the one I was looking for. So what I can do is drag and drop this wherever I want, so I'll click it, ooh, that's a terrible place for it. I'll click and put it right there, and I'm gonna change this to snubs, at, actually, I've already done snub, so I'm gonna do Shannon at hack5.org, because that one works too. <laughs> so I can also run a transform just like I normally do, and when I do that, let's go over here, we'll choose domain DNS, see if that one runs anything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let that run, and when it's finished, you'll notice that I have a brand new node or the same one if it's already included in a previous uh, transform that I had run. How cool is that? Now, you can also find all of these over in the palette as usual, and you can create pretty much as many as you want and just drag and drop them into your graph as normal and use it. Now, right after the break, I'm gonna check out something really, really cool that one of our users sent in. So I'll be right back. The Hack Shop is Hack 5's premier store for all your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky. It looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. And it can type scripts into a computer crazy fast like this week's favorite from Tehuvian, Tehuvian Bustle. Man, you guys have some really hard forum names. Now it's a script that simply downloads a Christmas wallpaper to your Windows 7 machine. Or of course, you can obviously change that link to pretty much whatever wallpaper that you want. Just make sure you're not downloading any crazy stuff to your friends' computers. Now, of course, we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your very own signed hack tip stickers. Thank you so much for supporting the show. We are back and we have something interesting from a user named James. So James said, we need to check out Sploitigo. He basically said instead of using Paterva's data mining services for OSINT, Sploitigo uses tools on the local machine to scan and report intelligence. For example, it can scan a range of IPs with Nmap, checking for vulnerabilities with Nessus, and exploiting those vulnerabilities from Metasploit. It can all be accomplished from the sexy and reasonably easy to use interface that is Maltigo. Now I wanted to run you through the install of Sploitigo in case you're interested in this. Can came out just a few years ago, at apparently at DEF CON 20, so I was there, apparently. Now, to install Sploitigo, you need to run a few commands. You can find most of this information over at GitHub on their GitHub Sploitigo page, and I'll have a link to that in the show notes, but there are a few 
extra little bits that they don't list here. So I want to run those through. So first off, you want to use the sudo apt get install uh, command for scapey, nmap, amap, and metasploit. Uh, so you have all those transforms avail available that run off of those different uh, software prerequisites. This other two, Nessus and P0F, uh, I've never played with those myself because they're paid, so I'm not downloading them for this example. Next up, what you wanna do is download the zip from the GitHub page. Whoa, there it goes. And you can find this over at the download zip, which is located right there on GitHub if you've never used GitHub before. Just download that zip onto your Kali Linux machine. For me, I just put it right here on the desktop. And then you wanna run a nice little program to unzip this. To do that, in your terminal, you type in unzip. Oh, sorry, I should probably go to my desktop. There we go. I've already unzipped this onto my desktop, but if you are running through the command, it's unzip and then sploitigo, whatever the name is of it, dot zip. You hit run and it automatically turns it into a nice little folder for you. And then you basically just follow the on-screen instructions found over at a different website. Now this one that you wanna check out is over at setup tools. So this is pypy.python.org slash pypy slash setup tools. Now this basically runs you through a different uh, tool that you need to use to actually install the rest of uh, Sploitigo. So for this one, I ran down to Unix wget. You basically just have to run this wget command to install the setup.py script, the setup Python script. And in case you actually need to get super user privileges, you can also run this version of it. Alternatively, it may be installed in the user local path if you prefer to do that way as well. So you have a few different options here. And then you want to run another command. So this one is sudo python setup.py. That one is actually found over at their GitHub. So if I scroll down here, it's found right here, sudo python setup.py slash install. You wanna do that inside of your Python folder and it's going to automatically run and install. Now from here, you can just reopen Maltigo, run any updates, close it, and then run the very, very last command. And this one's a little bit similar to this one. Canary. So Canary, instead of install pack package, you want to type in create profile space Sploitigo. And then you follow the on-screen instructions to import your brand new transforms for Sploitigo into Maltigo. And if that's not a mouthful of crazy Maltigo, Sploitigo words, <laughs> let's take it from there. So now let's go back into Maltigo, let's reopen it, and all of your new transforms will be available via the GUI. So if I look under my palette, I can scroll down a little ways. Where are they? Okay, penetration testing, so let's go down there. So here we have Metasploit session, Nessus report, Nmap report, port, that's cool. So we have a whole bunch of new entities that we can use for future uh, transforms that we might want to run. Ha, how cool. And it's all going to be locally done on your own machine. How neat is that? Now, of course, let me know what you think. You can always send me a comment below or you can email us tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. And I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist. Ba 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 